In this video, we're revealing how to make money online with the scientific method and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. So the other day I ended up meeting my friend for like some lunch here in Bali. And Bali is like great because not only are you surrounded by all of these, like for example, really successful people like 11 year old girls that turn on $30 million or a guy that makes a million dollars a month profit, but you probably have like the best food here in Bali that's so healthy and so cheap and you're like, oh my God, like I'm spending so li little to live this epic lifestyle. But I digress, I'm just so passionate about living here. Um, we ended up talking about like entrepreneurship because you know, he's like getting in entrepreneurship and he's like, oh, well, you know, there's no straight line, right? There's no like do this, do that, make all this money. Do this, do that, make all this money. Do this, do that, do that, make all this money. And it's almost just like do this, look for the light, in the, it, look for the switch in the, in the darkness, and then, oh, I turn on the light. But then actually, when you turn on the light, you find out that you're just in a bigger, darker room where you gotta go find another light switch at the end of the darkness. It's just confusing, right? Um, and, and, and the metaphor that I gave to him is kinda like the one that I wanna share with you because all making money in line is, in businesses, is a science experiment. Do you remember back in the days when you were like in science class? Not, I'm talking about like college or high school, but like back when science was fun where you literally plant little lima beans and you're like, well, what happens if I you know, pour water in this one, distilled water in this one, and for example, Coke or Pepsi in this one, which one of these plants will, for example, grow higher, right? And it was like really fun because it was a little experiment. You literally wanted to know, okay, well, I don't know the answer, but let me go ahead and find the answer by an experiment, right? So what it is, you would have like some type of hypothesis, you would have some type of guess, now this guess wouldn't be the truth, it would just be a guess of what you think would happen. So for example, in this little experiment, be like, oh, well I think because you know uh, plants need sugar to go ahead and grow, if I put Pepsi and Diet Cola in here, it's gonna go faster than water because you know, photosynthesis is literally them creating sugar so that they could live off of and survive and grow, so what if I just gave them sugar directly in like Pepsi, maybe they would grow higher. Right, so then that would be like my little hypothesis. I wouldn't know it for sure. I wouldn't brag to all my friends that this is the truth because it's not, I don't know yet. I would literally go ahead and just like test it. So I literally have three different things, right? Three different things, I'm like okay, I'll put water here, I'll put distilled water here, I'll put Pepsi here and I'll just wait and I'll be patient. I'll wait for like a week, I'll wait for two weeks, I'll wait for a month and I'll just see how big it grows. And after a while I'll know that okay, when I do this, this has a huge considerable effect on this actual result. Now, you really wanna think about this. That's really what business is. You know, you have a hypothesis. Oh, if I do X, then Y will happen. And then you go out there and do it. And guess what? It either happens or it doesn't happen. But if it doesn't happen and you technically failed, it doesn't necessarily mean that you suck at life. It just meant that you learned what not works. It's like, for example, when Thomas Edison was trying to figure out the light bulb and a news reporter was like, how did it feel that you failed 9,999 times? He's like, what are you talking about? I just found 9,999 ways on how to not make a light bulb because all I needed was one that worked and now we have light. Now we have light, right? And that's really how I make money online in business. Everything is a science experiment. The only way you're gonna know is literally to combat failure and to embrace it. I think so many people, when they get started making money online, they're like, okay, I wanna make money online, but I don't wanna fail. Because if I fail, my parents are gonna think I'm an idiot, my friends are gonna think I'm an idiot, and I'm gonna be a loser and a laughing stock to all of my friends and family. Right? That's literally what all of you guys are subconsciously thinking. I'm gonna be a loser to all my friends and family, and people are gonna think I'm stupid. And that's like a big fear that people get started uh, when they get started making money online. But can you imagine if that's how the kid thought? We're like, oh, what if I fail? What if I pour Pepsi on you know, this plant and it doesn't grow? I'm a failure, I suck at life. No, that kid is just having fun. They're like, oh my God, they're curious, they're intrigued, they're intrigued, right? And then when they, when they realize it's not the case, then they learn. And that's the human experience. They learn from their failures. Uh, so I think the first step with making money online in the scientific experiment and method with making money online is you need to understand that failure is part of the process. If you're trying to make money online without failing, 
good luck because you're gonna live the ultimate failure in life and that is called working a job, literally the job that you do not like all the way up until you die, right? You need to embrace these little micro failures because these are all learning experiences. The second thing you need to do is you need to pick a business model where it allows you to fail, right? And it allows you to fail without losing a bunch of money, right? So I had multiple ways that I did the scientific method. The first business model that I really tried doing it with was for example, uh, selling on eBay like these bunk beds, right? Like, uh, look at this, 66 have been sold, like this one, six have been sold, $273. You could get the exact same like dang uh, bunk bed at Walmart for 219 bucks. So I remember selling it onto, for example, eBay, when someone would go ahead and buy, I would literally go take the money, get it from Walmart, and ship it to the customer. So there was literally no risk to me. So what was my little experiment that I ended up doing? Well, the experiment that I ended up doing is the titles and what's actually put it, right? These titles right here. When I put the word bunk bed, I realized if I tested multiple different titles as the first thing, as the first words of either this, 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 or this, or this, I found that I could literally be put in certain positions where I could actually charge more for my product because there's less competition. If I just put the word bunk bed, I'm competing against all these people that are also selling the same damn bunk bed, right? But if I found like a more like different thing that was a little bit different but I just tested it, I would make money from selling like a similar product. Does that make sense? Um, and then I would test it between different things. I'm like, okay, well, what if I test bunk beds between like, I remember I found RV replacement kits, right? It's like these little things right here. Like I killed it with these. Like look at this, 423 sold. They probably get these from Amazon, right? I killed it with these. And then I started, you know, doing experiments of, okay, well, if RVs sell really well, what if I just start selling a bunch of RV supplies? And I tested between different RV supplies. And it's the ability of me failing, putting it up there, see if it works or not, would literally dictate how I got to $100 a day with this method. Or what else did I do? What am I currently doing right now? Obviously, you're watching this, right? I'm making three videos a day. You're probably wondering like, Mike, that doesn't even logically, feasibly make sense. Why are you making so many videos every single day? Are you crazy? Are you crazy, right? And it's not, I'm just literally doing, I'm planting lima beans every single day. Literally, I'm planting lima beans every single day. You can see, like look at this. You see, I'm doing this. This is literally almost the exact same thing as this. The same picture, but different backgrounds. And then words with no words, with people's faces, without people's faces. People over there, notice how like a lot of these are kind of the same, but a little bit different. Like if you've ever been to Thailand and you wear like those t-shirts, same, same, but different. Everything's like same, same, but a little bit different. And you can kind of see like what is kind of seeing and working with like my little science experiments. Every single day I'm making videos, every single day I'm publishing it. Look at this, three videos right here, three videos yesterday, three videos every single day. Actually, I've been publishing three videos every single day since this year, right? So I've had a lot of experiments. And with someone that has made a lot of experiments, guess what I've also had? A lot of failures. But with a lot of failures, guess what I also had? A bunch of lessons learn and guess what those lessons did? It built me a seven figure business from the content that I created from all of this, right? So you could see that even though some of these views are a lot low, it's fine because I embrace failure. I'm like, okay, let me just have it. And all these lessons started coming to me which allowed me to make better decisions. And because of that, like I said, even though my views don't get the much, I'm still getting like a good sizable income on the back end of things just because of my little science experiments. And you can see exactly this, look at this. It's the exact same picture, the exact same picture. The only thing that I changed is the title and the background. Should I put a book there? Should I put a person there? What do I actually do, right? What if it's not my face? Would I put this guy's face or this guy's face? This is the exact same picture as this, but the only thing that's different is now I have cash, now this guy doesn't. This red thing is here, but there's nothing there. And you can see that literally every single thing that I do is a bunch of tests from colors, from words, from like little things like that. All these things are tests that I'm testing. Little science experiment, guess what? I could be right, but most of the times I'm wrong. But the times I'm right, I learned something which I could go ahead and apply later on. And that's what you see all of these things. They're kind of like more of the same, but they're all just kind of like switching things up. And I'm testing different variables, like oh, Pepsi versus distilled water versus vinegar versus water, and letting it grow and waiting and just seeing what actually works. Now, with this scientific method, what you really need is patience, and no one actually wants to hear that because everyone wants that thick fix, that, that fast, quick fix, you know? And, and because of that, that's where the competitive advantage lies. 
being a little bit more patient than the other person to just plant a bunch of lima beans and just see what works. Now we're also doing this the same with like advertising, right? Like when you see these ads, look at this. I'm showing the same advertising to women in California, New York, Texas, Florida, to uh, women in the US, all in the US, and people in Canada, Australia, and Great Britain, 25 to 54 women. Now I literally had the same piece of creative put in front of different people, and I'm noticing that look at this, women in California, New York, Texas, Florida, are literally taking my messaging way better than the entire US in general, right? So literally that's a test that I use with my own money, look at this, we spent 200 bucks there, 160 bucks there, 85 bucks there, and now I know if I'm gonna put more of my budget, it's gonna be probably here, in the California, New York, Texas, Florida, women 25, 54. But if I do that, I can create another test and be like, oh, what's my next science experiment? Women versus men, right? And once you understand patience, the next thing is literally just split testing the variables in whatever it is. So how I use the scientific method, as you can see from here and here, is you're only changing one variable at a time, right? So I've made like a bunch of, like for example, Amazon FBA videos, right? I've changed one like, thing at a time, which either the thumbnail or the title or what I say or the intro. And the more you start getting all these variables and the more you start failing towards your way to success, the more you start creating your own unique equation for success. And that equation is very, very valuable because it's what will make you have no competition because no one else is willing to do the little science experiments that you do. And what if all business is, is you having a set number of science experiments in life that most people aren't willing to go ahead and do because they're like afraid of failure. And you literally fail at each one of these, but you learn drastic lessons that makes the next opportunity even more easier for you. Where the opportunity that I'm in right now is not because of like I literally woke up like this, it's because I had all of these opportunities in the past that failed that I learned very strong lessons on that I started taking into the next business, which we're at right now, which luck really just happens when opportunity meets preparedness. And that's what happened. I was just prepared because I failed longer than everybody else. And I'm asking you, how long are you willing to fail to actually succeed? Do you really have what it takes? And are you gonna do these science experiments to start succeeding? And if you need help with that, you wanna learn the science experiments that these guys did that got them from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, then sign up for this week's free workshop below as well as check out this video and this podcast right here. See you guys later. Woo!